What is up, Explorettes? I'm Chelsea, and you're watching my channel, Chelsea Explores. And today we are doing a hotel review, more like a resort review, on Sun San Diego. So let's go. Nestled in the town of Chula Vista in San Diego, you are going to find this beautiful resort called. Sun San Diego. This upscale resort has bayfront breezes and city vibes. With vacation rental units, RV sites, and amazing amenities, you can do it all or nothing at Sun Outdoors San Diego Bay. You can experience an exciting escape with ocean breezes, a SoCal vibe, and discover the sunnier side of family fun. My family and I visited this resort in spring of 2022 and it was insanely beautiful, brand new, and I'm gonna tell you all that you should do while here at Sun San Diego. So let's start from the beginning. Sun San Diego has an extremely easy check-in process. Upon arrival, you're gonna head to the Welcome Center located at the front of the resort. Here is where they will give you everything you need, including a resort map and your electronic wristbands, which will let you into all the places on the property, as well as your little vacation rental. Inside that Welcome Center, you will also find a little market where you can purchase all the things that you might have forgotten, like that ketchup or maybe a delicious wine bottle, or even some fun toys like basketball, and pool toys. Now let's talk about all the different ways that you can stay here on the property. Essentially you have two options. Either relax in the comfort of your own RV or stay in one of their fully furnished vacation rentals. Whether you are vacationing with family or bonding with friends, these RV sites and park model rentals offer great amenities and facilities for an enhanced camping experience. So if you're that bougie type of person that doesn't like to tent camp, this might be the spot for you. All the RV sites can accommodate rigs up to 45 feet. Prices for these RVs start around $70 per night. If you want to rent one of their little vacation rental homes, those start at $189 per night, depending on the season. But again, the prices can increase based on the location of the vacation rental, the size of it, and Again, much more. You're gonna have two different location options for that vacation rental. Either the promenade, which is the main strip down the center with a bunch of rentals, or a Bayview Resort. Now, here's my little breakdown on what I would recommend you do for your stay. If you are visiting with multiple families and friends, then I recommend you stay on the promenade because the cottages are all close together. You can hang out in the front yards together, maybe have a little barbecue. The kids can play on the little strip of concrete there. It's a great area just to hang out with family and friends. If you are a single family visiting, then I would recommend staying on the Bayview side. It's a little bit quieter and it's just better for single families. Now the differences though is your promenade places are gonna be a little bit cheaper, whereas that Bayview one is gonna be pricier due to that actual Bayview and sunset view. The Bayview cottage will get you a rooftop deck though, which you're into rooftops that can definitely be worth it. Both RV and vacation rentals have a propane fire pit with four Adirondack chairs around them, and they have a table that you can eat at, again, with another four chairs, so there is plenty of seating for you to enjoy this space. We are at our first hey everyone, night. welcome to dinner. We are eating some tacos. Yeah, we got some tacos, some blood orange margaritas. Chips, Dan's favorite. We just had a beautiful sunset and enjoying a delicious dinner. They have an awesome grill here. Oh, that's one of the better brands. So it comes with an outdoor grill. Be warned, they don't offer grilling supplies, so you either need to bring your own like grill spatula or you can purchase one in the little market. So let's get in to the fun stuff. I'm talking amenities. This resort has so many different amenities to offer. Let's break it down. There are two main areas that host most of the amenities and attractions. Let's start with the main corridor. In this area, you can enjoy a refreshing outdoor swim in their heated pool or relax in one of their two jacuzzis. If you want to spend all day at the pool, they have plenty of lounge chairs to hang out on. You can rent a cabana for the day which has couches, TVs inside, and you can order poolside service to those cabanas. While you are at the pool, feel free to grab some food from the Getaway Cafe. You can satisfy those cravings from their on-site cafe that offers a variety of different foods and drinks. Upon arrival, you will get a little token in your goodie bag that gives you one free Chula drink, which is basically a lemonade slushy with some alcohol in it. This cafe offers loaded breakfast burritos, nachos, pulled pork sandwiches, and a ton more options. Above the Getaway Cafe, 
Cafe, you will find something called the Upper Deck. This is a great spot to gather and celebrate with friends. There are some beautiful views from up here, a fire pit that you can hang out at in, at nighttime, host conferences, baby showers, wedding, any party here, it's a great spot. Let's head back down towards the pool area next to the cabanas where you will find a splash pad. You can let the kids play and cool off on those hot summer days while enjoying stomping through the water as buckets of water fall on them. Don't forget to check the activities calendar each day you are at this resort as there's so so much going on. There's always fun new events in this area like water aerobics, ice cream sundae making, and even pretzels with beer tasting. So lastly, across from that pool area, you will find some more activities and amenities like the gym. Now this is one of the best gyms I have ever seen at any of the resorts or hotels I have been to. They have free weights, a squat rack, treadmills, bikes, and even a little room where you can do some yoga in or join a Zumba class, which is one of their many fun events. Tell me in the comments if you enjoy working out on your vacations. Personally, my husband and I love to work out on vacation. It makes us feel healthy and fit. Comment down below if you enjoy that too. And if you are finding value in this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help out with that YouTube algorithm to push this video out to others. Now let's get back to the video. Other outdoor area that offers many more recreational activities. These amenities include fun activities like a basketball court, pickleball, corn, hole, horseshoes, a bocce ball, and even a fun playground for kids. This commons area is where you can rent a Surrey bike and take it out on the Sweetwater March bike trail or walking trail, which I will talk about a little bit later. We are currently in a competition between Dan and I. We're going around the property and playing all the games that they have here and seeing who wins each game. So right now it's one to one. I won ski ball, Dan won air hockey, and we're headed to bocce ball and horseshoes. So let's see who wins. Sun San Diego always has something fun going on. Make sure not to miss that event calendar with all the fun activities. If you are staying in one of their cottages, you can find a list of the events on the TVs or they have them posted on signs all over the resort. Some other fun activities would include a trivia night, bingo, or even a rolling margarita and tar singing guy throughout the resort. Also, they have movie nights for the kids on this huge projector screen, along with little dance parties with their mascot, the turtle. You will never run out of things to do here. The kids will never be bored. Trust me, there is so much to do here. For those of you staying on property for an extended period of time, they actually have an Amazon locker hub, so if you need to order packages there, you can do that too. Finally, you can actually access the Living Coast Discovery Center, which is right down the road from Sun San Diego via their shuttle. The shuttle will also offer you rides to farmers markets on different days and to different areas of downtown San Diego. You can take those Surrey bikes that are for rent around $45 for about an hour or your own personal bikes or walk on that Sweetwater March Trail which is located right outside the resort. It's a beautiful little pathway filled with flowers in the springtime, beautiful views of the bay and can lead you to the little bay park nearby. So my overall review of this place well, I love it. It's super family friendly, super dog friendly. They even have two little dog parks for you to throw ball with them. It was very well staffed. Everyone was super generous and kind. Was it pricey? Yes. Would I do it again? Absolutely. We have actually already booked another stay here and we kind of plan to stay here every Easter and bring family down here just because of that is how cool this place is. What did I not like about this place? Well, even though they do have two dog parks, these are turf filled dog parks. They don't actually have any real grass for your dogs to run around in. It's pricey, but again, I think it's worth it. There really wasn't much parking. For the Bayview Resort that we stayed in, there was only one parking spot and they do not have offsite parking or overflow parking for anyone else staying in the Bayview Resort. It's also difficult for guests to visit because again, there is no parking for them. 
I highly recommend this place and I would definitely stay here again and definitely recommend it to you. Keep an eye out as I am starting a new series of hotel reviews and resort reviews in San Diego. I will be posting more of that. On that note, we will see you again next week for another episode on Chelsea Explores. Bye.